Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for April 5th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want a full technical analysis, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, and you can also copy our trades over here at Ethereum. The link is down below. So let's look at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we're trading at 4,223. So we have broken 4,000. At this current stage, we are basically at the top of the bullish band, but 4,000 has basically been broken. So we, uh, if you look at the technical indicators, they are all looking very bullish at this current stage. But due to the fact that we are basically at the top of the bullish band, it uh, should not be... Um, should be strange if we pull back towards the 4,000 level before going higher. We could also pull, pull back towards the middle of the bullish band before going higher from here. So this has basically happened basically in the past as well. Rallies towards the top of the bullish band have basically been sold into. You can see it here and here. So at this current stage, this is a really bullish candlestick. We could actually continue from here to go towards the 4,100. But uh, pullbacks at this current stage, they will most likely uh, be uh, bought into. So pullbacks towards the middle round, uh, 3,933. That will most likely where buyers will come back in and buy this to the upside. So let's look at uh, Dow Jones. So Dow Jones uh, basically is still trading flat. Technical indicators are all basically flat at this current stage. We are just above the uh, middle of the bullish band here and basically at the uh, and uh, underneath the top of the bullish band. So at this current stage, it is it is fairly untradeable, the Dow Jones. We need basically um, a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band or where at the very bottom here in order to buy the city upside. We are still in a uh, uptrend, but where it is situated right now, it is a complete gamble. It can basically break down. It can also rally to the upside. So it's technically just 50-50 at this current stage. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ made an absolutely massive move um, uh, yesterday and also today. So yesterday rallied above nearly 2% and then fell again to half a percent. So 1.1 and today yet again 1.1 percent to give or take so three percent in two three two days that is a fairly good rally for the nasdaq and even more we seems to be basically we've broken these previous highs and also we are basically testing these highs and well basically at the same level if we manage to get another candlestick above here then that will most likely head towards the 14,000 and 15,000 in the long run this is as uh, bullish as the Nasdaq has been for a really long time. There are many things that are in favor of the Nasdaq at this current stage. Many of the big stocks have fallen significantly uh, the last few trade few weeks and um, have been, become fairly cheap, so people are buying into them. Furthermore, uh, U.S. yields have started to decrease or decrease significantly today. U.S. dollar fell as well, and of course there is a massive, uh, massive um, infrastructure bill that is going to um, benefit hugely uh, U.S. companies and U.S. stocks and so on, and also most of these tech stocks, as 5G will be one of those um, infrastructures that will uh, will be created or invested in heavily, and companies like Apple. Uh, Google and so on, they will and Microsoft will all benefit from that. Technical indicators for NASDAQ are looking very uh, bullish at this current stage. So we are trading trading above the 50 moving average. So if we break below the 50 moving average, then the middle of the bullish band here at the 12 and uh, 12,933 has been significant support in the past. Uh, but at this current stage, is looking fairly bullish for the NASDAQ. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX continues to rally 15,175. It is uh, really impressive to see the DAX. We, have, we are basically bouncing off the 20 exponential. We can see it right here or the 50, give or take. It's basically at the same point. We rallied, broke down again, rallied from the 20 exponential. At this current stage, we are significantly overstretched. 
and we are significantly overbought. So a pullback from here would not be strange. And usually when you get outside of the Bollinger Band, we could fall towards the middle at 14,642. And we can also fall all the way down to the very bottom here at 14,169. So we can see historical patterns um, have acted this way every time we get outside pull back towards the middle or even full pull back towards the very bottom before continue rallying. So we are in uptrend. This is getting fairly parabolical and a pullback at this point is uh, fairly expected at this current stage before we go to 15,500, give or take. So let's look at UK 100. And as you can see, we have rallied. We found major support at uh, the 20 exponential down here at 6,716 and now we're trading uh, at 6,774. So top of the Bollinger Band will most likely offer quite a lot of resistance as it has done in the past. We are still in an uptrend. It is not a very, very bullish uptrend, but we are still in an uptrend and we're gradually grinding towards 17,000. Uh, 7, Technical indicators, they are basically flat or bullish at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to copy your trades over here at eToro, and if you want our full technical analysis, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.